Hey guys, Heech here. Welcome back to the second part of how to make a 2D mouth rig in Blender. So, last time we created a plane. We rigged up every single point so we can move it around and shape it like this. And then we wrapped it around the sphere and make it look like it's on the sphere and not just a separate object. Today we'll be adding a tongue and teeth. And that will be it. So let's get right into it. First of all, we're going to have to switch to object mode. Click on your mouth plane, click tab, and now you're in edit mode because we're going to be extruding the outside so we can have an outline. Now when you're in edit mode, what you're going to have to do is click A, click insert face that you can see on the left bar, and insert face, there we go. Now we got that face. Now insert another face that has a, th a thinner gap in between. The reason why we're doing this is so that we have a nice even outline, and if you don't do that, then some reason it won't have an even outline. Now go into your materials on the right side, click the plus symbol, switch the material to material 02, which should be the material you already have up there. Now click this button right here, and it duplicates it. And click assign. Now go back over to your 3D view, click control I, click A, two times to deselect and then click A again to select all then click on face select and hold shift and click on these main four faces left click left click left click left click there we go go to our first material slot and click assign now we have that set up now we have a nice solid outline you may not be able to see it but you'll see later now we have to make a tongue bone to do this click tab make sure you have the armature selected when you do that now select the top bone, click Shift D, Z, and find the middle here. Seems like the middle's negative 0 0.3, so put that in. And now we found the middle, so that's where the tongue should be. Make sure this bone is selected, then click M, and click on layer 2. The reason why is so we can have all the other bones out of our way when we work on that. So click on layer 2 over here in the armature settings. There we go. Now we only see that. Go ahead and, and grab the base point of this bone and click E, Z. Now put point 2. Click enter. There we go. The reason why we did this is so we can have one base bone and one target bone for the tongue. Now go ahead and select the big, bigger bone and go here into bone settings and rename it to tongue target. Now that will be the target of where the tongue will go. Now do control I to inverse our selection. Now rename this bone to tongue base. There we go. Okay, click tab, click pose mode, and make sure you have the smaller one selected and rename it to tongue base. Make sure the bigger one is named tongue target. There we go. Now we have that set up, click tab. Make sure you have the bigger bone selected, just called tongue target. Click shift D. Enter. Go over here to the bone settings and rename this to tongue. Click M and click layer 1. Now that bone will be gone to layer 1. Click tab and click on the bigger bone. Click over here to bone constraints and we'll be adding in a transformation. On this transformation, add on our target for armature. Switch the bone to tongue. Now what this does so far is it takes the, the coordinates of the tongue mode we made and we're gonna make it control where this bone goes so it will copy the location and inverse it so change the minimum on y to negative one and the max to one now it will inverse the movements go down here and go here to the destination y change it to negative 2.51 and in the max should be 2.51 Make sure it's local space to le local space and change source it to destination mapping. Switch them all to Y. Now go and click add bone constraint, add another transformation. Now do the exact same thing, switch to armature, switch to tongue. Make the minimum on the X this time, we're doing the X, to minus one or negative one and max to one. Switch the source to destination mapping all to X. And now go here to the X for destination. Switch the minimum to negative 2.51 to 2.51, negative 
and change the max to 2.51 and switch the space to local space to local space. There we go. Now after that's done, click on armature and switch to layer 1. Okay, now switch to object mode. Select our mouth plane, go to modifiers, click add modifier and add a UV warp. Now what we're going to do is start messing with this. So all we have to change though is from armature choose bone tongue target to armature tongue base. Now we don't have a UV map yet, so let's go ahead and create one. To do so, click tab, go here and pull up this. Switch to the mode 2 UV editor and we're going to be opening the file you can download in the description below which has the tongue texture. So there are two different versions of the tongue. Alright, I'm going to be selecting the simple tongue just because and let's go to our UV map maps and let's okay make sure in 3D view click view viewpoint front now click UV project from view and there we go scale this up click shift S now scale it down to a good size I think this size is exactly what we need switch the 3D cursor to be the location to be 0.5 and 0.5 that's the middle now click A to select everything shift S select the cursor offset now it's right there and perfectly done. I accidentally forgot to uh, select these faces when doing it, so let's redo that. So select all here, project from view, scale it, click A to select everything here, scale it up, shift S, selection to cursor offset, and Z, and a G, Y, G, X. The reason why we're doing that is so we can get it centered on the circle. There we go. After doing that, click tab, go to modifiers, and switch that UV map to that UV map. Now switch to shader editor, go to materials, make sure you're on materials 03, and let's get into the materials for this part. Okay, now what we have to do is add in a, a UV map, switch it to UV map. Now add in a mapping. And check off minimum and max and drag in the UV into the vector. And now add a image texture. Now add an image texture. Move these over by selecting them and clicking G to move them. Now grab the vector for mapping, put it to the image texture vector. Switch the image texture to tongue. And it should be the tongue texture you chose. And drag the color into base color. There we go. Oh no guys, we made a mistake. The material thing didn't work properly. So we have to select the border that's in between the two edges here. Select all these by holding shift. There we go. Click on material 03, click assign. There we go, now it's fixed. Click tab, click onto armature, click to pose mode. Oh no, what's happening guys? It's inversed. Now. Just make sure it's like this, where the Y is minimum minus 1, max is 1, same thing Y for destination, minus 2.51, and the maximum 2.51. So yeah, it should work now. Now, now click to armature, click to layer 1, and click on your bone. We can move it, and the tongue falls. And there we go, now that that's solved, we can now go ahead and start working on the teeth. Now first of all, make sure to go to object mode. Select our mouth plane, switch our editor type down here to UV editor. Go to UV maps, make sure you're on UV maps. Add a new UV map and double click on the name until it lets you rename it and switch it to teeth. Oopsies. Now click tab and go down here. Now make sure you have everything selected and scale it up so it fits by clicking S and GZ to move it to the bottom. There you go. Now we have it like this. I'm just going to see if it works by importing our teeth texture that you can also find in the description below for you to use yourself. There you go. Now we got that te new texture. Click tab. Let's switch to UV map. And we're going to have to create a new object. So make sure to move down this editor and add in a plane. Now click Alt R O G. Now click R, X, 90. There we go. Now it's rotated so it's facing that way. Click G, Y, 
go to control and it should move over by one and now it should be in front so go to objects settings here and switch the viewport display and switch it to wire there we go and click tab make sure you have everything selected and scale it down to a decent size there we go now it's a nice decent size rename the object to teeth and there we go now we got that make sure you click tab to get out of edit mode though now after we got that plane added select our mouth plane go to modifiers add on a UV project scroll down here and switch the UV map to teeth and now go here and switch the object to teeth everything looks good so now open this editor up again switch it to shader editor and select UV map hold shift select mapping and the image texture and principal BSDF and click shift D and move it up now we got this whole new different shader up here now we got a second shader up here so now switch the UV map to teeth switch the image texture to teeth or whatever texture you're using for teeth and add a mix shader texture put it right here and drag the BSDF from principal shader at the bottom to the top shader in mix shader and for the top principal B BSDF drag into the bottom shader slot now go here and from our teeth image grab the alpha drag it into the fac and drag the shader to surface Ta-da! So what we just did, we grabbed the alpha from that texture, which was the little gap in our teeth texture, and we made it so that that gets replaced with our tongue texture. So then our tongue doesn't go over the teeth, or so that it doesn't have it where we don't have any tongue. Now, drag this editor back down. Now select our teeth plane skill Z. Now we can open it and close it and there we go guys now if you don't like the scale how big this is click tab scale Z hold control scale down there we go now when you scale it it won't be as big and you can move it around also there we go so click alt s to rescale it scale on the Z I personally like to say size it as the gap and now scale Z and the gap should be aligned it may not be perfectly aligned, but now we have this. And we can open it and it won't be too big. Alt scale. And now go ahead and lock the rotation on the X. And lock the rotation on the Z. And lock the location. And lock the location on the Y. And now it cannot move backwards or rotate some weird way. So yeah, now we have this. We can move it up and down. Scale it up and down. Rotate it. So yeah, Alt, R, S, and all that, and we rescaled it. So now we can move stiff. Also, if you want, you can go to your the, your render button, click on Simplify, and switch the viewport to a nice number. I like 2. Now it's not as laggy. And now you can do all this. You can scale it. And yeah, you can use this rig now, and it's all yours. Congrats, you made it through the second part of how to make a 2D base rig in Blender. In this part, you learned how to add a tongue to the 2D face rig, and also add teeth to the 2D face rig, and rig them so you can move them and animate them. Thank you for watching these tutorials, I really appreciate it. Tell me what you want me to do a tutorial on next. See you guys in the next tutorial or animation.